hi everyone this is helen jedo design how are you guys doing today i hope you're doing fantastic great i am doing very very wonderful so i want to explain to you why i have not been able to upload video for quite some time the purpose is i am fully pregnant so i could not be able to upload video for you guys to see like normally i used to upload video every week but now i can't do that because sometimes i am very tired and i don't have the strength to really make video every single week so that is why i don't upload video every week please watch other video that i have uploaded for quite some time some tutorial some video that will help you how to make your pattern paper and some video that will also um, make you how to stitch perfectly because all my tutorial are step by step so i want to give you a little bit of, about my life i will say i will explain a few things to my viewers and my subscriber today about when it comes to pregnancy and some kind of procedure that you will go through so it is very very early this morning it's about 6 35 so today i'm going for a procedure my doctor advised me to go for a cesarean my doctor was on vacation and we will do some a scan my baby head was here and the foot was at the bottom so she went on vacation for about two weeks she said maybe before she come back the baby will turn yes the baby do turn it turned from here and it moved to the side so the head was here and the leg was here i have had a baby before so he was bridge the baby that i'm having today is also bridge when i have my previous baby when he was bridge the head was here and the both leg was at the bottom so when I had that baby, it was so very difficult because you have to go through a lot of pain. First and foremost, I was brought up by my grandmother. So my mother was late very, very long time ago when I was in primary four in Nigeria. So my grandmother brought us all up and my grandmother is a woman that, you know, take every decision when it comes to the children and the grandchildren. So when that time come, when they told my grandmother that the, day, the baby is rich, instead of the baby to come with his head, but the cake baby is coming out with his butt. They told my grandmother at that time that I should, I should have a cesarean. My grandmother refused, saying, no, I'm not having a cesarean. So I really went through help by having that baby. And the midwife really do support me and help me to be able to turn the baby so that the baby can come out with his bare foot rather than the head. So finally, the baby come out with bare foot. When I tell you I went through it, I really, really went through it. It was not that easy for me. And this time around, when it's very close for me to have the baby, I have to be seen by my doctor every week. So I saw, I saw her previous week. She said that maybe the baby will turn. So she said that I can be doing some exercise like crawling. So I tried to do that over and over again. last week the baby head was here before and now the baby is the head is here so and the leg is at the bottom and i also have a little bit of complication whereby the placenta is very low and i have a little bit of uh water more excess water and thirdly i have a surgery before the surgery that i have before I have an appendix before which it was removed and I also have fibroid before. So the fibroid, when I did the fibroid here in the Middle East, so the doctor said that they would just go through laparoscopy. But at the end of the day, the doctor found out that the fibroid was big and then they had to make a cut and remove the fiber. So my daughter is saying that she believed that maybe that is the reason why my placenta is low and I have a little bit of excess water. Because if I have uh, a baby that was rich before, 
and came out with his two legs. She believed that can easily have any other baby. But in this situation, the placenta is low and she don't want to take that risk. And I don't want to take that risk as well because you don't want to have a baby whereby the placenta come out first before the baby. That is very, very dangerous when it comes to a mother or any woman that is going to have a baby. She advised me that it will be better for me to have a caesarean which it is okay you as a woman you as a mother in africa a lot of people see caesarean women as oh she's not strong enough she's weak she's this she's that the most important thing in life is that you have your baby and the baby is healthy you are healthy there is no complication and you have the opportunity to take care of your other kids rather than telling your daughter no i want to have a vagina baby here is something i will say to we women i have watched some video and i read a lot of comments whereby you will see some women putting down other women that have c-section they think that they that have a vagina baby are more women than the woman that has cesarean you have to understand that when there are some complications you have to make a decision you have to make a decision for your life you have to make a decision for the baby you have to make a decision for the whole entire family because if you are just thinking about your own self that means you are selfish you don't care about the baby you don't even care about the other kids that you have there are a lot of women out there who have complications and the doctor will tell them this is what you should do but they will refuse because of what people will say what my family will say what my friends will say the main question is it is about you because if anything happened to you they will also say something they will be the first person to say why she not just do cs why she go they force herself they will be the first person to say that so my advice to women don't even think about those kind of people you have to think about yourself first you have to put yourself first if a doctor tells you it is complicated you have to do this follow the first step and just do it and i have this amazing amazing daughter she's wonderful because she told me she wants to take control she don't want me to go into labor before having cesarean because if i go into labor then it will be a little bit more complicated so she wants to be in control you know when you are in labor then you are already in pain and then everybody is like here and there here and there so she advised me to have the baby and we fix up a date and today we are doing it and the most important thing is that i will be safe my baby will be safe and we will both be healthy and the procedure will go successfully by his grace by my ancestors that is what matters nothing else matters and those of you that are saying i will give birth like an hebrew woman you are not an hebrew woman you are just a woman you don't know how hebrew woman looks like stop mocking other women that have cesarean stop telling them that they are weak because you don't know their condition they know their condition they know what they are going through you don't know and secondly i want to also put this out there when some women had a baby and you will see some relative will come and visit you then the first question they ask is how did you get bit is it through vagina is it through cs when a person asks you such a question just tell the person to excuse you walk that person out from your room or if you're still in the hospital walk him or her out if the person is in your house tell him or her to leave immediately because he or she did not just come to congratulate you he or she come there to investigate you to know about you so that tomorrow she can go out there and gossip you and pull you down and tear you apart 
So for today, we are on our way, our family, we are already prepared. Before you guys will watch the video, by the special grace of God, I have delivered my baby. I will put, edit this video and put it out there. I hope my video encourage you. I hope my video gives you straight. Don't be deceived. Don't listen to nobody. Listen to yourself. Important when you lose your life, life will still go on. Life will not end. It will still continue. What about your other kids? Have you thought about that? So this is all I have to say to you. Thank you all so much for watching. Continue to support us. You can watch us on Facebook. Hello Angel Doll Design. You can watch us on YouTube. Hello Angel Doll Design. You can also support us by giving us stars on Facebook. You can also support us by giving us super thanks on YouTube. You can follow us on all social media platforms. Hello Angel Design. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.